Hello learners, welcome to the wonderful world of English language classroom. We learned some grammar today. This is the second part of time and tense. The grammar is time and tense. Today we learn how to understand and learn how to use present progressive and post progressive, present continuous and post continuous. This is meant for classes 6, 7 and 8 because we have time and tense in all the three classes. With me is Kriti and you learners, we will together learn how and when is present continuous used. Kriti, how are you? I am fine sir, thank you. Okay. Then, what were you doing yesterday evening? I was reading a book yesterday evening. Okay, what was the book you were reading? I was reading a class 8th NCRT English textbook. Fine, all right. Okay, I am not going to ask you further that. Okay, what were you doing in the evening, night, yesterday? I was reading the news about the virus and its spread. Okay, then what else you were doing yesterday? You were watching something on television? I was reading the newspaper. Hmm. Then what were you doing last morning, yesterday morning, reading newspaper? Yes, of course. Sir. What news item you were reading in the newspaper? I was reading the news about the virus and its spread. Hmm. What am I doing now? Sir, you are talking to me now. Okay, fine. There are two things we have seen now. I asked you some questions like what were you doing? Yesterday you answered I was watching television and I was reading newspaper. I was playing or whatever or something you have said it. Okay, before we move on, we are going to see post progressive, post continuous and present continuous today. And when I asked what were you doing at this time yesterday, you said I was watching television, I was reading newspaper, this is post progressive. Let us not go into understanding the rules now, but let us know what we are going to do in this lesson. Come on, let me ask you Kriti for the benefit of the learners as well as we ourselves to fix the goal of this lesson, uh, let us read the objectives of this lesson. What are we expecting the learners to do at the end of this lesson? Go ahead. Objectives of the lesson. At the end of this lesson, the learners will be able to understand time and tense, use present progressive and past progressive tense in context, discover the forms, present continuous and past continuous forms and use them in speech and writing appropriately. Fine, well done. We have spelt out the objectives Kriti. Now I am going to show you some pictures you will have to describe. Look at the pictures here. There are some actions in them. Someone is doing something or some people are doing something. You will have to describe what the person is actually doing. Okay, sir. So, so four pictures for you. So, what is happening in the first picture? Sir, a boy is running. Fine, good. A boy is running. Then look at the second picture. What does she do? What a is girl she? is dancing. And the girl is dancing. Fine. The third picture. What are the boys doing there? Boys are playing cricket. Okay. The boys are playing cricket. The la last one, there is a dog. It is doing something. What does it do? The dog is sleeping. The dog is sleeping. So, the boy is running. The girl is dancing. Some boys are playing cricket and the dog is sleeping. Kriti, thank you. You have described the pictures, actions are just happening. Now, let us further understand present continuous and past continuous. There is an advantage when you compare and contrast present continuous with past continuous. So, it is very interesting. Learners, here are a lot of sentences for you. Uh, some you will have to fill it with present continuous that is present progressive, some in past. So, it, it appears on your screen as a table like so, let us look at it. Kriti, the first one is given as an illustration for you. Example, I let me read out the first one, then the others, I will read out, you will have to supply present continuous or past continuous. Okay, so, sir. Okay, fine. Raji is walking towards her office now. In past continuous, Raji was walking towards her office yesterday evening. Fine. Now, the same way, present continuous, then past continuous. Irvin sit on the bench now. Irvin is sitting on the bench now. Okay. Past continuous. Irvin stand near the bench yesterday morning. Irvin was standing near the bench yesterday morning. 
Arvind return from Mumbai now? Arvind is returning from Mumbai now. Great, good. Arvind go to Mumbai last Tuesday. Arvind was going to Mumbai last Tuesday. Gandhi's followers dash propagate his ideals all around now. Gandhi's followers are propagating his ideals all around now. Gandhi dash practice non-violence during the freedom struggle. Gandhi was practicing non-violence during the freedom struggle. What does you do now? What are you doing now? What does you do in the morning the day before yesterday? What were you doing in the morning the day before yesterday? Fine. Then look at it. Now people dash read on the internet. Now people are reading on the internet. In those days people dash read newspaper only. In those days people were reading newspaper only. Okay. Now I dash talk to my friend and will call you later. Now I am talking to my friend and will call you later. I dash ride on a bicycle when you called me. I was riding on a bicycle when you called me. Fine. Okay. Now Australia dash batting against England today. Australia is batting the match against England today. India dash play against Australia when I entered the ground that day. India was playing against Australia when I entered the ground that day. Okay. She makes profit from her investments now. She is making profit from her investments now. Then she dash risk her money when she invested in the company. She was risking her money when she invested in the company. My new neighbors dash not trouble as they read a lot. My new neighbors are not troubling as they read a lot. My old neighbors dash disturb us by playing music louder. My old neighbors were disturbing us by playing music louder. India dash fight cholera during 1960s. India was fighting cholera during 1960s. India dash fight COVID-19 virus now. India is fighting COVID-19 virus now. Fine, good. Thank you. So, some actions were continuing in the past for a long time. So, past continuous. Action is now continuing. So, present continuous. Now, uh, I am going to ask you just to notice the learners, please notice the difference between the past continuous and present continuous. So, we have learnt how present continuous and past continuous tenses used appropriately to denote time action in the past for some time continuing and in the present continuing some time. Well, let us look at it past continuous. A continuous action in the past at a particular point of time we refer to. I was reading the newspaper when you called me. I was going to the market when I met him. So, it is a particular point of time where action was going for some time continuously. But now, I am now I am talking to you. This action is also going right now. So, presented. So, he was reading yesterday morning. He is running now. We are sitting here talking to our learners. Our learners are watching. Our learners yesterday morning afternoon we are doing something else. So, this is how simple present tense is used Kriti. Let our learners understand how past continuous and present continuous. So, here is a table for you with very few sentences. I am going to say the sentence in simple present. You have to say present continuous and past continuous. So, he lives in a big house. He is living in a big house. Past continuous. He was living in a big house. They run for 5 kilometers. They are running for 5 kilometers. Past continuous. They were running for 5 kilometers. Fine. His friend works in a company. His friend is working in a company. Then past continuous. His friend was working in a company. It rains the whole day. It is raining the whole day. 
Then it was raining the whole day. The bus stands at the end of the street. The bus is standing at the end of the street. Pause continuous. The bus was standing at the end of the street. So, learners and Kriti, there is a problem with using ing with all the verb forms. So, we cannot use say, use all verb forms okay, sir. in all. So, there is a problem, sir. So, there are exceptions in grammar. You know that we say that, for example, I go to school, you go to school, they go to school, but say, she goes to school. So, if you ask, you know, there is a exception. exception. Any language has. Okay, sir. Using ing form in present progressive and post progressive as well, we do not use some words with ing. Okay. For example, verbs of perception, seeing, hearing, smelling, noticing, recognizing, we do not use it. Say, I am seeing him there, you will not hmm. say. I hear your noise, your voice. I am hearing your voice, we will not say. There are some exceptions which appear on the screen. You learners, you may notice it. Verbs of appearing, appear. You will not say, he is appearing now. He will he appear, appear now. now. He appears now. He is looking there. No? He looks uh, like that. It seems, you know, it is seeming, you will not say. Then the same way, verbs of emotion we will not you always use i want to go there you know, i am wanting to go there some occasions you say i am wanting then i wish you sometimes you say wishing you great but when you say i wish you all the best i wish you best of luck i am wishing you will not say then i desire i will not say i am desiring i feel i am not feeling we say feeling bad is okay i feel good i am feeling good some speakers use it but generally it is not very appropriate so, like that many such words like love but american there is some companies that i am loving it but actually means i love it it's a typical uh, some of the usages are typical indian instead of simple present tense we use present continuous i go to school i am going to school every day you know, that's not the way to say i go to school there are lots of words learners just notice it don't bother much about it but you will ultimately learn where to use present uh, continuous and past continuous. Let me, let us stop this uh, lesson here, part 2, present continuous and past continuous in order to make you learners understand and draw your attention to us. We also have to meet the learning outcomes in each class. Also, the teachers and parents there for your benefit and learners benefit and our own benefit uh, understanding, we are now displaying the learning outcome and learning outcome is displayed at the end of the lesson, not in the beginning. We set the objectives. Now, here is the learning outcome of this lesson which appears on your screen. What is the outcome of this lesson? Each learner speaks, writes grammatically correct sentences for a variety of situations in any context. Dear learners, today we have learnt, we hope that you have learnt present continuous and past continuous, otherwise known as present progressive and past progressive. We know that an action which was taking place for some time at a particular point of time in the past, past continuous and an action which is taking place now is present continuous. It is very easy and generally we use it and we also have seen some exceptions where this continuous ing form with the some verbs is not appropriate though some of us are using it. So, before we close and thank you for participating, let us show you the learning outcomes of this lesson. As a learner and teachers and parents there, we should be able to know what is the learning outcome, what was the expected uh, objectives and outcome now. Every learner in classes 6, 7, 8 or any class for that matter, having learned some grammar, some items of grammar, you each one speaks, writes grammatically correct sentences in speech as well as writing. Uh, for a variety of situations, it is not that just mechanically using, variety of situations using nouns, pronouns, verb, adverb, determiners, time and understanding of time and tense. So, here is the outcome, every learner speaks, writes grammatically correct sentences for a variety of situations using nouns, pronouns, verb, adverb, determiners, time and tense. Thank you very much learners for having participated very well. And Kirti, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Uh, we will meet the learners in our part 3 of this Grammar in Context series. Thank you very much. Thank you.